Blood pressure is monitored for all neonates who are at any risk of hypo or hypertension. Monitoring helps in detection of hemodynamic instability. Observe hand hygiene before measuring the non-invasive blood pressure. Place the infant in supine position with limb extended. The first step is selecting an appropriate site. Do not place the cuff on a limb being used for IV or intra-arterial infusions or any area where circulation is potentially compromised. Use carefully when placing the cuff on an extremity being used to monitor other vital sign parameters such as pulse oximetry which also uses a pulse for determination of the values. The second step is appropriate cuff size. Measure the arm circumference and select the appropriate size cuff for the limb. The cuff bladder length should cover 75-80% to 80 of the arm circumference and the width to arm circumference ratio of 0.44 to 0.55. The table here depicts the cuff size applicable for a defined limb circumference to ensure that the reading is reliable. Squeeze all the air from the cuff before applying it on the limb. The cuff bladder should ideally encircle the entire arm. The measurement should be performed at least an hour after feeding or any medical intervention. Tie the BP cuff and wait for 15 minutes while keeping the baby calm. Take the mean of 3 readings, taken at 2 minute intervals. Record the non-invasive blood pressure reading. Point for emphasis. Inaccurate measurements could be due to defective apparatus, air leaks, loose cuff or rapid deflation. Pressure may not be recordable in a low perfusion state or shock. Do not leave the cuff on for repeated cycling for prolonged period or apply the cuff at the extremity where pulse oximeter probe is attached. Thank you.